The iPhone XS Max. I had to say that like three times because for some reason I keep going XS and not XS. Anyway, managed to buy one of the first retail units sold in India thanks to Sangeeta Mobiles. A big shout out to them by the way. I still can't believe I spent over a lakh on a phone. I know it's my job to do it and all that but it doesn't make it any easier. Anyway, in today's video let's unbox it and take a quick look. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please click that bell icon to turn on notifications, it helps a lot. And by the way, in case you missed it, here's a card to our monthly giveaway, do check it out. So here's the box, opening it up, designed by Apple in California, we've got the stickers, a regular quick start guide and a SIM ejector tool. We then have the iPhone XS Max itself, removing that plastic, damn it looks great. I wasn't high on the gold model initially, but I am finding myself liking the color. We then have the ear pods, lightning pin, no adapter this time. That's really sad given that they removed the headphone jack. We then have a USB to lightning cable and a regular charger. Initial reports claim that charging with this adapter, it's gonna take three and a half hours to go from zero to 100. Three and a half hours over a lakh and they still don't include something a 15K Android phone has in the box. Anyway, that's Apple. Okay, I'm done cribbing. Let's now take a look at the iPhone XS Max. Now the phone looks beautiful. The gold to the back, it kind of reminds me of the Mi 8 SE that I tested out. This is a little darker, but I still like it. The stainless steel sides make the phone feel great to hold. Now the XS Max feels quite similar to the iPhone 10, except for the fact that it's bigger. The placements, the mute toggle, the dual cameras to the back, it all feels very familiar. The headphone jack and fingerprint scanner still remain missing, no major changes except the fact that this one's got a larger display. And that display looks phenomenal. This is a 6.5 inch OLED panel, a Super AMOLED panel from Samsung to be precise. The aspect ratio is 19.5 by 9. The resolution is an irregular 1242 by 2688 pixels. That translates to roughly 460 pixels per inch, which is quite sharp. The display is beautiful to look at in key blacks and all. The notch returns, well like MKBHD said in his video, you can't really notice it with the default wallpaper, so that's something Apple's doing. But it is there, it's big, it houses the selfie camera, the facial recognition hardware and a earpiece that happens to double as a stereo speaker. After a few years of Apple's Plus models being ridiculously big despite housing only a 5.5 inch display, Apple has done a great job here. This phone's got a larger than the Note 9 display in a body that is shorter, slimmer and just a tad wider. By the way, that's dbrand's new Matrix skin on my Note 9. They just released this with the iPhones, I love dbrand skins. Once I get bored of this gold back, I'll surely be skinning the iPhone XS Max. I already have my iPhone 10 in a Matrix skin. So if you do wanna skin your phone, do check dbrand out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Other changes include an IP68 rating now up from IP67. Not huge, but worth a mention. Similarly, this is a dual SIM phone one regular nano SIM and another eSIM. Now, the biggest change though is underneath the hood. The iPhone XS Max sports a hexa-core A12 Bionic chip. Apple claims it's up to 30% faster at launching apps and about 50% faster when it comes to GPU-related tasks when compared to the last gen A11 Bionic. There's also four gigs of RAM along with 64, 256 or 512 gigs of storage and all this is backed up by a 3174 milliamp hour battery. The iPhone XS Max did feel really fast it's on iOS 12 and I've been playing around with it for a few hours and it felt really snappy. For the price, it most definitely should. So that's on par as expected. There are some cool features, not XS Max exclusive, but we've got an emojis and memojis here. The coolest of the features though have been reserved for the cameras. From a spec standpoint, we still get two 12 megapixel cameras, the primary with an f1.8, the secondary with f2.4 lens. The primary has got a larger sensor this time. So that means we should get better images, especially under low light. Both lenses are still optically stabilized. The results seem great. Smart HDR works well. Images seem detailed with natural colors. The zoomed in ones too. Even under low light, the XS Max impressed. Here are a few more sample images I shot. 
you know what? I'm gonna let you check them out in peace. Okay, I'm back. Now this portrait, well, Apple now allows for changing of aperture or adjusting the level of blur, but unlike Android, they are separating the image into layers based on depth and applying the blur, meaning it should look a little more natural. Initial impressions, I liked it. Not just this, but the entire camera experience feels great. The selfie camera is still seven megapixels. It gets portrait options. Here are some samples. On the video front, we get 4K 60fps. There's a lot of detail here too, and the footage is amazing. It doesn't seem like I had it handheld. It almost feels like I put it on a gimbal or something. You can zoom in and zoom out while shooting video. Now this is an option some brands do not allow, so props to Apple on making that work. So overall, this is what Apple offers for 1.1 lakhs in India. Now here's a one point worth noting. Okay, it's not as much fun as it's sad. In the US and other parts of the world, the iPhone XS Max is priced $100 more than the Galaxy Note 9, or rather 10% higher. Now in India, the Note 9 retails for 68,000 rupees, but the XS Max is priced 60% higher at 1.1 lakhs. I get taxes and whatnot, but this is just ridiculous, right? If you are watching or reading any comparisons online, keep this in mind because most international channels and publications would be comparing and judging the tennis packs based on the fact that it costs 10% over the Note 9 and not 60%. So with that sad little snippet of information out of the way, it is time we wrap things up. It is time I bid you adieu. Now, if you notice, I've been sweating a lot. Today is a power shutdown day here, so there's no electricity. This is on the generator. Air conditioner doesn't run on the generator. So I'm sorry, please bear with me today. Uh, and I guess that's it. Uh, love the video, hate the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know. Please do subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.